What's up, what's up, what's up? I don't got no type of gorilla pod to hold this, none of that. It's just me holding it with my hand. As y'all see in the mirror. You know, I ain't really used to holding this camera because I've been vlogging on my phone, which is easier, but just felt like I've been getting into like the feel and the vibe of just vlogging with this camera and I actually seen the clearness that came out when I was using this camera. It was so hidden. Um, so considering the fact that I might continue to vlog and all that, I'm going to um, see what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to see what's going to happen. She touched my camera lens. I can see her fingerprint on my lens. We have to talk about that. But today, I was just in the um, mirror. And I did like here. Alright. Back at that back teeth, it was one small little dot. Like if I had a pencil with a pencil lead and I was just like. Simple little period. But it was on my tooth. And I looked at it, I'm like, scratch, scratch. I ain't never seen that before. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't expect this to be so long, but I realized that it got to be longer than what I thought because I'm about to get to talking. So, I'm the type of person that never, like, brushing my teeth when I was younger. I used to hate brushing my teeth. Not only did I hate brushing my teeth, I loved candy. I also had the type of mom that didn't really, you know, always let their kids eat candy like crazy. Luckily, cause I was the type of kid that if I would have got some candy, I could have sat there and ate it up. I mean, I'm still the type of person that love to eat some candy, but I'm trying to get away from the candy and junk food junk because I know it's not good for you, not only for your body, but now after today, your teeth too. I'm Man, I just thought about it, dog. I can't catch no cavities right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't want to have to go. To, I ain't go to the dentist in. I would say years if it wasn't for that one time my mom took me, but I don't remember when it probably still was. It was years. It was years ago. Since I've been to the dentist. Arriba. <sighs> yeah, it's been years since I've been to the dentist. And at my job, they had insurance, but I didn't even have dental insurance. Uh, I had medical insurance. I haven't been to the doctor in a while too. The last time I went to the doctor, it wasn't for nothing serious. I didn't need to go. In other words, I'm awake. But I try to stay away from the doctor. Well, I don't try to stay away from the doctor. I, I feel like I should go to the doctor now, but at this point, I thought I'm going to see myself at the doctor. But Try to make it where, you know, I'm healthy. I don't have to worry about, you know, anything going wrong, me needing doctor's assistance because of my health as far as like intake. Not only that, after today, I'm gonna try to make sure my teeth are pristine. 
and I mean pristine because I did a little I did a little quick Google search and from the search they make it seem like once you catch a cavity you have to go to the dentist because either it's going to get worse or if you want it to be treated you can't treat it yourself they have to drill I don't like stuff like that I don't like you know like let me, let me give you an example doctor wise if you had diabetes or something like that don't know much about it just speaking off what I believe don't don't take it as reference as close as, as known but it's like the doctor would tell you don't eat like I don't want to say salt sugar I don't know there's different things for different things don't eat certain things that's something you can look up and kind of you know fix on your own depending on how you know what level of diabetes you got and all stuff like that I'm just I'm just you know scraping the edge cuz I know I don't have a type 10 cavity right now I couldn't think of the word I know I don't have I don't feel like I have any cavities right now after I just brushed my teeth but just a few seconds ago I feel like I had a small one that just started and that scared me but back to the brushing teeth thing I had it brushing my teeth in the morning dog I had it brushing my teeth almost as bad as I had it washing up and the reason why I had it washing up is because I learned how to wash up on my own at like towards this age when I can remember and it's like I think I was washing up in the sink I still to this day don't you know prefer like washing up in the sink um, I think I probably was taking a shower but it was new to me and it was like it was irritating like you wake up early in the morning you're sleepy you're sleepy you're sleepy I don't want to be up I gotta sit here and wash my butt then I have to brush my teeth instead of sleep. I remember one day, I, I don't think I'm going to forget this day. I went in the bathroom. My mama get, get me up. Man, I went in the bathroom. Went to go sit on that toilet. I was using the bathroom until I was done. And when I was done, I would sleep. I would sleep on the toilet. I mean, I would sleep. My mama came, knocked on that door. <laughs> Nigga, I, I don't know how long I was asleep, but it was. I know I was asleep because I remember it to this day. Nigga, I fell asleep on the toilet. Like, that was, that was a day I was gone. But it's like, I didn't really like brushing my teeth. But I remember I did force myself to do it. I still would do it. But I don't think I brush my teeth every day, for one. And for two... I don't think I brush my teeth, you know, well. And I've never been the type of person to brush my teeth, you know, twice a day after every meal, stuff like that. And I don't necessarily know if I will become that person because I don't trust toothpaste all the way. That's the main reason. You want me to be honest? I feel like toothpaste could be harmful. And I haven't done my research yet. So I don't want to know. Laziness-wise... I feel like it's something I could do, but it ain't just laziness, you know. I put Listerine in my mouth, you know, brush your teeth. I, I just have to spit a billion times. Like, like Listerine, I don't feel like Listerine is so safe. Like, it's like, imagine brushing your teeth with dishwashing liquid. You brush, you spit it out. You rinse your mouth. Dishwashing liquid adds suds. It, like, it, it keeps adding up. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like certain percentages or levels of it kind of stays in your mouth. That's at least how I feel. I'm not sure. But it's like, right now, I feel like I'm spitting because I still have Listerine in my mouth. Look like some foamy stuff to me. Don't really think it's regular spit. Still coming out. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't necessarily want to harm my body because I want to keep it clean. But it's like, at the same time, I want to find an even ground in between. But I don't really know enough to do what I got to do. You know what I mean? Look, uh, I be fresh on the scene. I be trying to spit my grass. Uh, 
Nah, I ain't got it like that. Look. I tried. When I was younger, I was in school. They marketed something. They gave out little flyers or something. The dentist was coming in. You had the opportunity to get a free dental filling or something like that. Some experiment. I don't think it was an experiment. I don't know what it was. But after I got that, I feel like it went wild. It went dumb. It went nuts for me. So what they did was uh, I, they filled the top layer of your teeth with some some stuff to prevent cavities. Now, honestly, I was about in fourth, fifth grade. So it could have been just a regular dental checkup. But from what I remember, and me not knowing nothing at that age, I feel like they put something on top of my teeth that wasn't like, you know, normal. Something that was a little different. I'm not sure. All I know is after they, after they did that teeth thing one time, I felt like it was an extra layer on top of my teeth. And, you know, I started brushing my teeth more and all that good stuff. But my, feet, my teeth kind of felt indestructible. I was tearing up candy and I was not catching cavities. I did not catch no type of cavity. I was eating, doing my thing. And still to this day, I feel like I got that, you know, thing to think because I ain't got the best teeth in the world. I ain't got nowhere near it. You know, when we get up close and personal, you really get the... Give me a second. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. really get the checking these ways out of Come on, now. Look, this is what we're going to do for y'all. For y'all, we're going to do it tonight, eh? Anyway. Man, what the heck? I'm trying to autofocus. Auto, I mean, manual focus on the nigga. Uh, yeah, I get the point, dog. Uh, look, I can't do it. Oh, hot breath. But it ain't, it ain't completely right. And then I look at these teeth. I see yellow stains in there. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I ain't even gonna try to act like it ain't there. I got some yellow stains. It's just it's better than. I feel like I'm above average. Right now, I'm above average. I won't lie to you. At least the average amount of people I see on a daily basis. Because I'd be like, huh? But it's like, somewhere in between, I've transitioned to brushing my teeth every day. And not only did I brush my teeth every day, you know, at one point, I remember brushing my teeth vig vigorously. And now I just, I feel like I kind of got a little bit of sauce to brushing my teeth. But it's like, at the same time, I don't mind brushing my teeth now. It's like, eh. So I brush my teeth regularly. Not only that, I started drinking water. About four or five years ago, no, maybe six, seven, who knows. When my brother came around, I cut pop out. Cut pop out maybe before him, but like, I say that, I know that for sure, because I joined the water diet. When my brother was around, he was just drinking water straight, straight, straight. And that's a that's one thing that he got in my head that he transferred to me that I appreciate and I feel like I'll always be there. He showed me that water can be drunk as a daily drink every day for the rest of your life if you wanted to. You don't need juice. You don't need pop. You don't need none of that. So I transitioned. I didn't drink no pop. Then at first I was drinking juice. After like... I realized that he was on some water, water gang, 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 gang type tip. I'm like, dog, let me join the gang. You feel me? I joined the gang and you know, benefits came with it. Like I was drinking all water. That, that's less sugar and less all that junk smacking my teeth. 
So it's easier for me to, you know, maintain my teeth. That's like a fresh pair of gym shoes. You got a group of niggas. They play football in their gym shoes. And you got a group of niggas. that I don't know. Um, take runs um, around the track. Same gym shoes. Same athleticism. But no, I wouldn't say that. But still, look, both of them working, you know, both of them running, both of them on their feet. But one of them in dirt, it's harder to clean. One of them, you know. So I was the nigga, I transitioned, I already, you know, my mom, she trying to shelter the candy away from me good. You know, it wasn't the best. I won't say it's all because of her. But is that, then it's like, junk food. I ate junk food, but I didn't start being able to eat the real amount of junk food that I wanted until like high school when I started working on my own, buying my own food, buying my own snacks. And then by that point, I was brushing my teeth regularly. And that's because I ain't, I ain't like breath stinking. Like after I found out that not brushing your teeth led to bad breath and I became self-conscious, I ain't like talking, oh, I already didn't like talking to people, the girls, you know, shy. So when I, when I found out, you know, that when you brush your teeth, you got to start talking like this. Or you talking to niggas, but you ain't looking at them because you don't want your breath to hit them directly. I'm the type of nigga that do that. I can't go with it. You know, I keep, I got to have my breath subconsciously clear. So I try to brush, my, I, I start brushing my teeth. I try brushing my teeth. Um... Uh, High school, nigga, I had a toothbrush. That's when I started bringing toothbrush, had toothbrush in my bag. Nigga, I was getting in my bag. I had to brush my teeth. I was going to go brush it. You did? That's, hey, look, find that out the hard way. And then high school, left grade, yeah, I started working. I started working as a waiter. I, I'm, I'm starting to remember stuff. Nigga, I used to bring toothbrush, the same bag, well, yeah, same bag from work. From school to work. I went from school straight to work. To home, to back to school, to work. So it's like, before, oh my gosh, it's starting to make sense. That's when I start brushing my teeth twice a day. Because when, oh my, 11th grade year. 11th grade year, I start being a dishwasher. 12th grade year, I think, I start being a waiter. I think that might be when I started. Um... Into my waiting career, I start maintaining my hair. That's what I realized today. I didn't brush, I meant comb my hair while I was wet. So I'm gonna have to try to re wet my hair, then comb it because I'm not trying to comb through these naps. But this is not a video about my naps. I start maintaining my hygiene. I start maintaining it. I had to, you know, dress up for my job. And it was, um, a white shirt. Black pants, supposed to be iron, black vest, that white shirt, that let you know, you know, you gotta be clean. You should be clean, you know. So I started, you know, working on that type of stuff. And one thing is self conscious. I brush my teeth before I started. Before I, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I would brush my teeth before I went to go serve the people every day. And it's like, right before then, Comb, brush or comb my hair, brush my teeth, put on some cologne, go out there. I was straight. But I used to do that every day. So, over time, I just started keeping my stuff straight. And it's like, now after today, I'm going to, I'm going to reach new levels. I can't really put it into this video. It's already 20 minutes long. Don't really want to plan it out right now. Just know... I'm trying to take it to the next level with this teeth jump because I, I can't I can't get a cavity. I'm too broke. I'm too broke. I'm not financially set. I want to be financially set. It's over. It's over. I would not be wasting money on to I choose to spend my money on the things that I want to spend my money on. Teeth, don't want to spend a dime more than just protective. You know, if I can, you know, stop at protective measures. Then I don't want to spend 800 I don't know how much it costs for a dentist, but I don't want to go. 
I don't I feel like a dentist is something that you don't have to see. Cause I ain't seen him in years. You know, I, I bro, let me put it like this. In the past, I'ma say 10 years. I'm willing to guarantee I haven't been to the dentist more than once. Now go ask my mom for the stats. Go ask my mom for the I'm ask her when I was 20. From 10? Ooh, 10. 10 to 20. Shit, uh, shoot, I'm still, I'm still willing to take that back. So we gonna see. Y'all, y'all can go, y'all can go check that, check that. Y'all yeah, want? But it's been real. I ain't expected, you know, record no 20 minute video just now, but I did. It is what it is. You learn and you live. I see once again that I'm taking for granted. Please don't take what's been happening. Please don't come back trying to hand me down. No, I ain't no hand me down. Talking about you want me not sis trying to check me out. This ain't Nike, don't do it. You ain't done no be foolish. Play your role and be clueless and I'll tell you what the clue is. Not a hot boy, but I'm far from the coolest. All right, y'all, see y'all later, dog. It's been real. It's been right. See y'all another night. Done. Adios, let me turn this boy off. Dang, get out of my face. Y'all niggas look close.